back once again. Boy, it's been a long time. I know, folks, I am still recovering um, from my last surgery. You might be able to see I'm still wearing my compression vest. And I'm starting to lose my voice. So before we get into this, let me turn you all around here. And you guys and gals can see me. I'm going to get a sip of water real quick. I am losing my voice this morning. Man, it has been quite a bit since you all saw me. Mm. And look at that. I haven't even made my bed. You might be able to see why. Check it out, folks. The cat is always on my bed. I know, right? What are you going to do? You know, cats are going to be cats. They love to go where they know they're not supposed to. Oh, excuse me. I'm losing my voice again here. Mm. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, staying safe. Maybe going out and enjoying a beautiful day. Uh, here in Southern Virginia, it's going to be, I think, in the 70s, Dad said. And uh, I'm definitely going to get out a little bit, maybe get a walk in. I didn't really sleep that well last night. Uh, but I slept well the night before, so kind of made up for that. Uh, I can wait a few minutes, uh, see if anybody wants to uh, join the live stream here. Um, haven't been doing a lot of regular videos. Um, as most of you know, I've been recovering from a uh, lengthy uh, skin removal surgery, and this was the revision surgery, so I uh, haven't really been able to lift, but that's going to change. Um, I am six weeks out now, so I'm able to actually start lifting again. Not just lifting weights, but lifting normal packages and everything. So that is a bonus. Uh, we had one person here, but it seems they left. Um, well, we can go ahead and get into this. And this is something that a lot of us don't always think about, but... Let's say you got an old TV lying around. Most of us do. Most of us have probably replaced our TVs with smart TVs, um, you know, and you still have an old TV, but you really just don't know what, sh what to do with it. Um, a lot of people throw them away. Um, and as a matter of fact, the TV that I, two TVs I'm going to show you today, two, were both TVs that I scavenged out of uh, the curbside um, rescue, as I like to call it. So basically, it was a, a curbside pickup. Um, they put them out for trash, and I went ahead and picked them up. So let me turn you guys around here. I see we got one person here. Justin Lyons says hi. Hey, Justin. Um, we can wait just a moment and see if we get anybody else. Um I'm using my cell phone for the live stream. This is the new one I got. This is the Samsung Galaxy A53, I think it is. Something like that. Um, there's a whole story behind that that you guys probably should hear. Um, but eh, I can't remember. It's a straight talk phone. A53 5G, so it was the update to the A52. So... I'm going to turn you guys around here, and I'm going to show you exactly... Oh, we got two people here. Awesome. Justin Lyons and David Whitlock says, good morning to you. Counter's not updating. Uh, that's, that's kind of typical. All right, let me turn you guys around and show you what I'm talking about. So, the other day, when I was out um, for one of my morning walks... Um, as I always do, especially on garbage day, I always look to see what people are throwing out. And I stumbled across this TV here. This is a Sony Bravia. Um, I believe it's a 32 inch model and it was in a pile of trash. You could tell the people were moving out. They really weren't, um, they really didn't care. There was tons of stuff and I actually had to dig for it. Um, it did not come with its stand. That was the one thing. Uh, number two was face down in mud. So I really couldn't tell if it was broken. Now they had two TVs. They had this one and then they also had a, uh, a really big one it was probably like a 60 or 70 inch. Neither of them had the stands. 
Um, but that one, needless to say, that one, there was no way that was ever going to come home with me. I couldn't lift it, and chances are it probably didn't work anyway. Um, but again, this is a Sony Bravia, and what I actually did to repurpose this, um, let me go ahead, before I do that, let me go ahead and start this installation. I'm actually doing an install on this uh, HP tower here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and I'm going to let Windows start its uh, installation here. So what I basically did is I had a Visa mount. This is actually a triple monitor mount. You can actually pull this out, um, and you can actually put three monitors if you want. So you got what? Uh, you got the middle monitor, you got the one monitor here, and then there's another bracket on the other side here, which basically does the same thing. So ideally, you'd want to have it like this. So you'd have... A monitor there, monitor on the other side, and then a monitor in the middle. Um, I do have some other brackets or um, stands that I'm going to use in the future. Um, the only reason I use this one is because I couldn't get into the closet to get them out, you know, right after surgery. That was a little tough. So, But this works fine for now, just a standard va vase amount. Um, and you can do this with really any old monitor slash TV. Well, I'll give you guys a date or something on here. Uh, July of 2014. So this is actually from 2014. Um, so again, it's a little older. It's not a smart TV or anything. But basically all I did to get this to work as a monitor, any LCD TV will actually work as a monitor. Um, all you need is an HDMI cable and then one of these. This is actually an HDMI uh, to DVI adapter. Now, granted, some uh, more modern TVs will actually... Let me see if I can pull this apart here. Hang on a second. I'm just going to put you down. Um, this is actually an HDMI cable. So if you have a more modern uh, desktop... You can actually just take this cable and plug it right into the video card. But since uh, this is using an older card, this is DVI or DisplayPort, um, you can actually buy a bunch of these different ones online. Again, this one's a DVI, HDMI to DVI adapter. Um, they also make DisplayPort to HDMI adapters. And then um, uh, I believe you can actually, yeah, I know you can get an HDMI to VGA adapter as well. And basically all this does... It allows you to plug it in, which, again, I need two hands for. Ah, there we go. So this basically will allow you to use, again, any, any TV, any LCD, you know, halfway modern TV that you might find in the trash, as a computer monitor. Oh, Justin found a projector. And a Garmin Nuvi, nice. I have not been going to thrift stores like I usually do. Uh, something I'm going to have to do in the near future. Huh. Of course, now that I unplugged it, it's probably not going to come on. Let me uh, let me try to see if I'm just getting a bad connection here. Now. Now, that's the one thing with TVs. Sometimes you have to reset them if you unplug it. So I'll turn this off, and then I'll turn it back on. Oh, and incidentally, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys. This is another uh, TV that I found in the trash. This is a 46-inch uh, Sony Bravia. This is a an older one. This is actually from, like, 2006. Honestly, this is a really, really nice TV. I actually use this with my uh, Roku. Uh, you can see it right here. I was watching Scrap and Pallet Man on YouTube. I'm going to turn this down so I don't get a copyright strike. Actually, let me let me go back here and uh, I could play. Maybe I could play one of my videos. Hey, look, I can actually replay the live stream that we're doing right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. So this is basically coming back to life. And once again, I this was just kind of going to be kind of a quick video for you guys. 
I love this idea because, again, there's so many people out there that have old uh, TVs, uh, you know, that they just don't want to use anymore or they, they don't have a, uh, a need for anymore. And this will allow you to repurpose it. And what's great about it is not only can you use it, like I use it as a test bench monitor, but you can use it, you know, as a home theater PC. You can actually set up your computer and you can play, you know, videos or uh, music through it because the audio does work uh, with those converters. Uh, so audio will work through DVI, HDMI, DisplayPort, um, but it won't actually work through VGA. So that's one thing you got to bear in mind. But another nice thing about that is if you wanted to go um, VGA, this one doesn't have it, but a lot of the older TVs, like that one here, actually will have a VGA port, uh, if you can see it right there in the back, and you can actually use that in conjunction with a regular, uh, like, 8 millimeter or not 8 millimeter. um uh, two and a half to three or three and a half centimeter round jack, like you would find a headphone jack, and that'll allow you to plug your computer into the uh, TV. So, once again, we're doing a uh, Windows 11 install here. What can you do with an analog TV? Um, well, that's the one thing. With analog TVs, you're not actually going to be able to uh, do any kind of installs or, or hook them up to the computers unless they're um, HD TVs. But they're still not going to look that great. And the other caveat is if it's an old plasma TV, uh, you might have issues with burn-ins. So you have to be very careful. Um, if you're using an old plasma TV... I would definitely, um, it would definitely use a screensaver. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this Windows 11 install. Let me unplug the, uh, one, one trick with Windows 11, um, if you don't want to set up a Microsoft account during the uh, installation process, unplug it, unplug your Ethernet cable, and pretend that you don't actually have Internet. And then you can just go ahead and put in a, uh, once you go here, let it connect to your network, you can click, I don't have internet. Uh, continue with limited setup. And then you can just put in a generic name. So we'll call this HP, you, uh, HP i5, something like that. Just, just a generic account to set up for the, uh, for the person whose computer it's going to be. Uh, we'll leave the password blank. And when I do this, I always click, I always uh, turn off, find my device, tailored experience and advertising. Um, that'll help you out in the future. And then I just hit accept. Basically, I, I literally, that's about all I do with the specials for the installation. I have a old cry big screen TV from the 90s. Ah, well, you know what? You can always repurpose it for a, a vintage gaming rig. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and plug the um, Ethernet cable back in, which I'm going to do right now. <laughs> it's funny watching it as I'm filming. And I'll turn you guys around here. So basically, that's about it. That's all I wanted to uh, tell you guys about. Hope you enjoyed this video, this live stream. Stay tuned, because I'm going to try to actually start shooting some regular videos here in the near future. Um, not just live streams. So please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Oh, wait, and before I end it, uh, Justin said, if you look on the back of the computer tower, carefully, there's an HDMI input. That's actually a um, display port. It looks very similar to HDMI, but it actually is a totally different uh, port. That's, that's a display port. 
All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.